All right, this brings us into our next segment. You know we like to talk about DSLR cameras. If there's a camera that's a close second to our EX3 rentals, it's gonna be the 7D. Let's face it, guys. Eventually, you're gonna have to shoot with the 7D camera. Whether you're gonna rent a dope package from Midtown Video, or you're gonna be on the set, and you're gonna say, man, I need some shallow depth of field stuff, and you talk to your 24-year-old PA who has one of these in his backpack, you're gonna end up shooting on the 7D. I hope you're gonna have a dual handle Habi cam shoulder mount for it, but even if you don't, there are a couple things you need to know about this delicious camera. The uh, two limitations, all right? We know how awesome it is. Now I gotta tell you the downsides. Number one, its file structure only allows you to record up to 12 minutes at a time per clip, all right? So if you're shooting a concert, probably not the camera for you. If you're gonna do an interview, okay, as long as you're not with like, you know, some long-winded guy that really can't wrap it up. So keep in mind, when you're shooting on the 7D, only 12 minute clips. That's a limitation of the file structure and there's no way around it, all right? To bring us up to date on the second limitation of the Canon 7D, my Padawan and the host of Jose's Tech Tips, rental technician, Jose Fernandez. Awesome, awesome. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Doing good. Glad you can make it. All right. Hello, everyone in the studio. All right. The second limitation that this gentleman here is talking about is that it has only one uh, mini input for audio. So you can just pretty much listen to like headsets like, and see what the audio has on the camera. But there's three solutions that I'm going to present to you. One of, two of them are convenience, and one is for quality. And as far as the first one for convenience goes, there's the Sennheiser wireless receiver that already has a mini out for it that, uh, and a shoe mount that you would place right on top of the camera. Then you'll probably use a wireless lav or a wireless microphone, I mean a handheld mic, and then connect it to here and then you can just go straight into the mini there. And you have the audio that's embedded as well in the video of the cart. That's one option. The second option that you'll have is to use, like let's say, you wanted to have two different like microphones attached at the same time. Uh, there's this thing called the Beach Tech adapter, or, or this guy right here, <laughs> and it has two XLR ins and one mini out. So you'd have you'd have two different microphones that you would attach right here, set the proper level, and then switch it to mini, and the camera will still get it fine. But if you want quality, there's one way to go, <laughs> and that is using this. What's next? Which is the H4N from Zoom. Uh, it has a couple of things that make it awesome and I'm gonna go over them with you. One of them is that it has these, it has its own built-in mics which are two separate channels, like one for each. And you could adjust like the spread of the audio that it could uh, capture, like from 120 degrees to 90 degrees. I don't know if you could get that, Jess. Can you get that? All right. And then there's a second thing that it has right now and that's it has two uh, XLR ins slash uh, quarter inch. So you have a total of four channels of audio that you could go through with this. And all of this recorded onto this little four gigabyte SDHC card that goes properly right in here if I could open it, but I can't. So, and if you want to monitor audio as well, it has an input right here so you could stick in your headphones. But it has, um, it, but it's a line level. So you'd, if you'd want options on you know, recording this and having a reference on the camera, this is what you'd do, besides attaching it with a shoe mount right here up top. There is a cable, that, which is right here, <laughs> that you would attach right into the line level here, and then from there, go into here. So Jose, the camera is mic level. Yeah. The output of the... Uh Zoom audio recorder's line level, what are you doing? Papa, this right here is an attenuating cable. So what it does is that it knocks down the line level signal by 25 decibels, so it's compatible with the 7D. Fantastic. And then uh, when you want to take it into post, it's no big deal because all you have to do is drag the footage from the 7D. Oh, questions in the audience. George wants to know, can you adjust the level with the four channels? Yeah. Can you adjust the level of the four channels? Well, the answer is yes, but if you want to go into detail, you know, you'd have to call your buddies at Midtown Video. <laughs> but um, 
but yeah, so then, uh, as far as the workflow for Pulse goes, all you'd have to do is get the footage from the 7D, place it on the timeline for the, in Final Cut, and get the uh, files from the Zoom, and line it up with each other, and just delete the audio from the 7D. Question again. Maria would like to know what format does it record in? It has two formats. You can record in WAVE or MP3. And those are my tips right there. You guys are going to be awesome recording audio on your 7D. <laughs> awesome, man. Good. Awesome tech good. tips. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks, everyone. All right. Uh, hopefully that reduces the challenge now. You're going to be recording on this 7D. It's got a couple of audio limitations. Jose walked you through a couple of the solutions. Mic level input only, so you can have one mic at a time, or a beach tech for two mics. If you want to record higher quality audio, it's the Zoom recorder. And because it's only got a line output, you need an attenuating cable to bring the signal down to a mic level if you want to record a reference mic audio in your camera. Debbie, a we've got comment a question from, from the BLS Miami. Option four, hire a sound guy. Option four, hire a sound guy. Absolutely. Check with your sound guys to make sure that they know how to operate Zoom H4Ns. And BLS Miami, do you happen to be a sound guy? You can answer us by chat. Um, before we move on, I just want to let you know the list price to own one of these fancy Sony PXU MS240 units is $1,250. So pretty good. Way less than three grand. Yes. Swanson. Swanson. Oh, Brian Swanson, BLS Miami. Listen, if you guys need a sound guy, call up Brian Swanson. He chats under the name of BLS, but he is an awesome dude to work with. Yes. And Aussie Dave wants to know if that includes shipping to Australia. Aussie Dave. Listen, dude, anything you want, we're shipping you for free. Absolutely. Give us a call. We're going to make it happen. Like you said, FedEx is a wonderful thing. That's David Wright, guys, uh, chatting in now. Now that he's off the interview, he's watching in from Australia. Yes. The man wants to know what you're using for a switcher on this show. Okay. What am I using for a switcher on this show? That's a great question. We don't like to reveal all our secrets, but I am going to tell you this, this one time. This is a 4A Hanabi switcher. It's the HVS300 switcher. It's an 8-input HDSDI switcher. It has two keyers, two PIPs, and all the bells and whistles that you need to run a proper studio-based live internet television show. Thank you for asking. Come on and be in the studio audience. You can peek your head around the corner, and we'll actually show it to you the next time around. Yeah? Where can you get one? You can get one in Midtown Video. <laughs> Purchase a rental. Uh, we're your buddies. I'm going to make my way back over to the desk here. This concludes our gear segment on the Dot Video Show with Jesse Miller. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> The man wants to know how much for one of these Hanabi switchers. You're talking about 15 grand, roughly. But to, to rent, it's way more, uh, way more reasonable. We rent these units for about $600 a day. If you've got a weekend rental or a long-term rental, get in touch with me. We'll build your whole show. I mean, you can't get away with just a switcher. You might need a couple of cameras and stuff, recording devices. Get in touch with me after the show, and we'll, we'll put together a package for you.